a waffle munchie Business ways is a fucking munchkin No change now, I'm sick for some Not try It's the heartbreak, been to eat alone by the flowers Tears for the rain when the plants even showers It's the heartbreak Welcome back, guys. We're back to the 5W's interview show. My name is Rusi Sutter. I am your host, and today we are joined by a very, very special guest from across the pond. The farthest away guest we've ever had. A few times ago, we had Graphic in New York. We're taking it one step further, one step beyond into the unknown. We're talking to Joe Jazz, No Spaces, human cartoon rapper, producer, digital artist, scrape bro, and merch master. Joe, how are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. I'm good. That was that was a crazy intro. I felt like you know when people on sway in the morning and he's like, "Yo, I'm introducing one of the best, the nigga that eats the most cheese, the nigga in the oven with the coven, the most loving, do do McStinky breath." <laughs> Yo, man, sway. You didn't have to introduce me like that, man. Sway, you ain't have to. In- man, you got me gassed up, man. But yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, just to give you some context on who Joe is. Uh, we kind of met online uh, like a week or so ago, and uh, he's like a rapper from England. He's makes makes really entertaining music. It's like he's like he's a rapper, but he's also so much more than that. Like his music is only like a portion of what this guy is. He makes YouTube content. He makes all his own music videos. He makes all his own stuff. And it's all just like so zany and entertaining and funny and just such an enjoyable experience to like visually be a part of and watch. Uh, so I thought it'd be a great time to have him on the show. He's an incredibly funny individual, so we may have some outtakes where we're laughing too hard to like continue. But yeah, uh, so we're just going to jump into our first question, which is our what. And for our, everyone that doesn't know, he has some reoccurring characters throughout all his kind of branding and his merch and stuff. So for our... First question, which is like, who? I just want to know, who is the Fat Llama and Sally? Are they based off anyone, or who are they? Sally was like, um, okay, so I was my first uh, video for the song Sally. That was like, fucking okay, four years ago. And like, I was just like, damn, should I be like trying to get like a girl in the video? Or like, what should I do? I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I like had, I'd like written out the whole like concept of the video, storyboarded it. And like, I had like in my mind, I thought I had like a girl. Mm. I hope like my past me isn't going, you fucking liar. You never had a girl in your mind. It's fresh, but you fucking liar. Well, I think I did. Yeah. And then I thought, um, fuck it. That's so long. Cause I'm going to have to like ask someone. They're going to have to pull up. So I said, fuck it. I'm by a blow up though. And then, but the thing is, Sally originated, this is going to sound weird, yeah. but Sally originated as my daughter. But not like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just smashed the table. But not like, you know, it was like a completely different Sally, if that makes sense. Okay. So the name Sally has always been around, so like in... I think it was 2013, 2014. Yeah. I used to always go, oh, shit, man, where's Sally? And I made, like, this little, like, I was going to make merch. It was before I had, like, the real, like, insight making stuff. I, but I wanted to make a T-shirt where it just said, uh, help me find Sally, like, a poster. And yeah. I drew, like, this shit photo of, like, a girl. And then um, I used to always say that. And then I forgot about that. And then... Only remembering later did I think, whoa, this is weird if I actually posted this old Sally content and this new <laughs> Sally content. It makes you look like a fucking weirdo creep. Yeah. But yeah. More than normal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then what, what about the Fat Llama? Because I know the Fat Llama's been around a long time. Who is who is this character? I think uh, his name's Paco. So, like, I only gave him that name um, in the cartoon, but... It's basically from Alpaca, yeah. and I just took the pack, and then I put Co, and I was like, that's eh, pretty cool. But um, I guess it's just, he's just a guy, man. He's just a guy. He's chilling. He's sleeping right now. I tell him, to... yo, Paco, you free? No. Nah. <laughs> sleep. Sleep. But, like, honestly, I think I always sleep, and you're lazy fuck. 
But yeah, he's there chilling. And you know the vibes, man. He's yeah. just chilling. Because he's been around. What, man? He's been around since the beginning. He's like, I, I was, I've been deep diving on your gram back to like five, six years ago, and like I can, see, I like the font was was there then, and it's still here now. It's like it's been a complete constant as like throughout yeah. like your entire. It's on my hat right now under my tr. There he yeah, is. There he is. Shit. Yeah, he's got all over your merch. Uh, what a character. Cool. What Great a guy, answers. man. So we'll just move on to our second question, which is our what. And uh, I know you do a lot of shit, so I got to know, if you had to choose to do one and only one and stop all the others, what would you pick? Music, which would include rapping and making beats, visual arts, which would include videos, merch, and photos, or skating. You can only pick one. What do you pick? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's tough. <clears throat> you got me. You got me. Oh, shit. All right, let me wait a sec. The thing is, I think it, it has to be music. Mm-hmm. Like, I have to. But then, like, oh, I wouldn't be able to skate. I know. That's so tough, man. <laughs> like, if Ooh, I... Okay. It's like skating no. or anything else. It's, like, such a tough thing. Like, it's, giving up skating would be so impossible. Yeah, it's like a life. Yeah, it's I think. Like, it's like, what Oh, you... I got it. I got it. Okay, this is what I'm finna it? do. I'm going to carry on doing music, mm. but I'm going to go to one of them, like, brainwashing people and make them brainwash me so I never skated, like, in my head. Yeah. And boom. Good. There you go. That works. It works. It's a loophole, but it works. Cool. Some music, for sure. Dope. Swinging so on to our third question, which is our where. And after listening to your most recent project, The Four Wing Island, and listening to all the songs and everything that's going on, it feels like mm-hmm. there's a lot of interesting themes and stuff. I feel like you create a lot of intricate storylines in all of your work that are all kind of very far-fetched, but also feel like they're grounded somewhere in reality. And so mm-hmm. for our third question is our where, and I just want to know, where is the Four Wing Island? In here. Yeah, it's in here. Like, um, on the intro, it's like Four Wing Island is a place I used to escape. It's like even the Capri pouches. Just everything, like, I guess around what I do is all just my brain. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's, like, how I would see things and then I interpret it differently when it comes out as music. So it might, like, like you said, sometimes it sounds, like, zany, but it is, like, all from, like, life experiences. Like, Sally's heartbreak picnic was really, like, a breakup I went through, but, like, I was, like, let me make it into the universe because I feel like, the whole fat long and my music and stuff, that's like its own universe mm-hmm. and its own world. So yeah, hope that answered your question. It does. So it's it's kind of like your own internal kind of like mental universe happy place where everything kind of just like functions by like your rules and it's kind of like where you're just going to kind of get to be, be Joe Jazz. Facts. Dope. Perfect. Facts. Cool. So for our fourth question, which is our when, uh, we're taking a segment straight from Hot Ones. We're stealing it straight away. They can't have all the good ideas. So if you want to open up your Instagram, I have dropped you two pictures that I just want to know when these were taken. Take us back. Tell us the story. Where were these taken? Okay, it's loading up. It's loading up. Oh, you guys, I'll put these photos right up here as he's answering okay, them. Okay, so this is the one with me and Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Photo of you and Tyler, uh, the creator. When did this happen? But this happened. Oh, I'm gonna look at the date. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, it was December 2013. Um, he did a pop up shop. Yeah, that's, that's so that's long, long ago. So long. Tyler that's was so not popping then, man. Not as much as he. Woo! Like in my head, I thought he was crazy popping at that time because like. From, um, actually, I think that was maybe like a dip, if you know what I mean, because like he had the um peak with like the goblin stuff, and I feel like he was still up at Wolf, but I feel like a lot of people came then, like they stopped checking and stuff. Yeah, but, like me and my homies, we found out there was a power shop, so we were there, we pulled up, and then he was there, Earl was there, dope, and I think. He was there. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Earl signed this album I had, and um, Tyler looked at my hat. It was like this Supreme hat I ripped off the fucking Supreme because it's fake. 
Yeah. And um, I wrote Wizard on it because I was like the mixtape I made at the time. Yeah. And um, he, he was just like, yeah, man, that was cool. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then I took a picture. Sure. Yeah, that's about it. That's dope. Because like you, you, you and Tyler are like two halves of the same coin, it seems. Like the more I interact and like we talk and like the more I see, it's like you guys are both so visual in how you do things. You both got gap teeth. You both are... <laughs> You both are, like, so creative, and you're, like, merch masters. Like, Tyler is probably one of, aside from, like, Kanye, has, like, some of the best merch you could possibly have as, like, a Max. rapper these days. And, like, you're taking, like, I, I just see so much of, like, all the things that make him great in you, and it's, it's it's neat to see you, like, seeing him so long ago. Yeah. Before yeah. he was, like, I, I was, like, I forgot about that, but, yeah. Yeah. That's just crazy. Dope. But I feel like, um... Uh, when I was, like, younger, when I first saw him, I was, like, this was probably, like, 2011, 2010. Yeah. I remember seeing him, and, like, I'd always made music and stuff, but, like, I guess all the people that I found weren't, I, I was, like, into, like, Lupe, Pharrell, Outkast, all of that. But, like, when I heard about, like, Tyler and Odd Future, mm -hmm. that was, like, so different, because I was, like, these are, like, young people just like me, and they're just doing it themselves. Like, I was recording off my fucking laptop using Audacity and thinking and mixing was when I put reverb on my vocals. <laughs> and I thought I was going crazy. And then it was just like, to know that you could do it all yourself, like, I was fine in doing it myself because people always go, oh, man, you need this, you need this, you need this. So, And I never got discouraged, but then I was like, no, I do. Because at the time, I was also making, like, Pokemon adventure videos on the same channel I use now. Yeah. Where I was like, um, I just used to like go and paint, get these like sprites from Pokemon and make them battle and shit. But yeah, that's a tangent. There oh. we go. Okay, so we got one more photo for this question. If you want to open that one up, this one's kind of crazy. I, I, I think I might know what this is. I think I might, I like the way it loads so slowly because it's suspenseful. I can't wait for you to see this. Oh shit! Free <laughs> young hip face. <laughs> oh my god! I, I had such a hard time picking which two photos to select for this because you, your gram is absolutely crazy. You have over seventeen hundred posts. If anyone wants a good time, just go scroll through his gram. You'll get some of the craziest things you've ever seen. But take us, like give us some context to this one because this this seemed special. Bro, young hip face. It was like, this nigga was trying to rob, like, the store. Yeah. But he did it so bad. So, <laughs> so. Yeah. He was, so, like, there's this, um, there's a supermarket here. It's called St. I mean, it doesn't even matter about the name. Every supermarket's fucking same now. It's got the automatic doors. Yeah. So, like, he's trying to run, and then he just. He don't realize that you gotta wait a bit for the, like the automatic doors to open. Yeah. So this nigga, pow! He just hits it, and I'm just watching him. I'm just looking at him like you could get up and run now. This nigga confused and shit. Security's already caught up with them, and then you see like this the lady that works there. She's just standing over him like, "Whoa, what the fuck? This was so easy." But yeah, man, shout out young hip face, man. <laughs> so you're just like in this situation. You just watch this happen, and you're like, "Let me take a quick selfie." Yeah, I was just like, bro, I'm telling you, between, like, when I started Instagram to maybe about 2015, I was just crazy on fucking Instagram. No, I was I'm like, very wow. aware of how crazy you <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, what, what are you calling him? Young Hit Face. <laughs> Is that just a name you have come up with? Yeah, that's his name, man. That's, that's the name his mom gave him. <laughs> he's born on his birthday to yeah. the he says here lies young hit face yeah his first name is young his last name is hit face I mean gotta respect it gotta respect it oh man awesome okay well we've got some great answers we'd have a great time but we're finally landing on our fifth and final question which is our why and um I just wanna know uh you have an extensive network of friends fellow creators uh, that you often collaborate and do shows with and hang out with and you're posting on your Instagram and on your YouTube all the time of you skating and doing so much stuff with a lot of people that all seems super interesting and super creative. I just want to know why 
do you choose to work almost exclusively as a solo artist, making your beats, rapping, making your own merch, marketing the photos, making the photos, marketing yourself, and creating all your own video content? You choose to work completely inside your own cap capabilities. Why do you choose to do this as opposed to working with other people? That's an interesting question. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's because I, I guess I'm like only child, basically. And I've always done like stuff on my own and I find it so much easier to work with my brain. Mm -hmm. Like I always like work with the homies. Like uh, my girlfriend, she made me their name Retro Pussy. Like I produced her album and stuff. And I produced some stuff for my homie Kojo. And like I always, like I mix all my friends, like most of my friends stuff who make yeah. music. Like I like mix everything. But like when it comes to like projects and stuff, when it's like my own stuff, oh, I like I really that. like taking full control, like the joysticks, mm, playing the game. Because I feel like I can really zone in. And I always, like, I guess what I've learned now to do is I'll just, um, like, step away from it and just show someone. So I still want to, I still want to have, like, this control over the stuff. But I still want, like, it to be the best. So, like, getting people's opinions and stuff and seeing what they think about it, what they think I could do better, taking that in. Like, just constructive criticism here and there, mm -hmm. I think, is always good. That's something that I'm in, uh, putting in more. But, yeah, with working alone, it's, I guess it's also, like, being on the internet. Because I would just be, like, inside. Like, when I first learned how to record, i just, like, YouTube it. And then I'll be like, cool. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. I'll be on my laptop. I'll do it. And also, it's, like, being on other people's time. Mm -hmm. I really hate that. Because yeah. it's, like... Let's say if I wanted to shoot a video right now, record, mix a song, and just put it out in the next five days. I know I don't have to like wait on someone because they I don't know that their, their cat might be on fire. And now I gotta wait for this guy to put out his cat that's on fire, and and I can't get my video. And I'm like, fuck your cat, bro. <laughs> 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 I caught this video. But yeah, like I, I think. That also, just that aspect of just being able to, like, turn things out and just do it, like, how I want it and, like, my full vision of it. Because I guess I've never wanted to be, like, a pop artist. Mm -hmm. I've just wanted to make music yeah. and, like, make things. And I feel like I definitely am aware that once you put things out, it's um, there for other people and stuff. And you can, whatever happens to you, happens to you. But the whole thought is just to always make it like organically and just from for me mm -hmm. but i'll definitely i feel like when i when i make the album the solo one that i want that i'm like yes this is definitely the one the one mm -hmm. i feel like with this one i'm like i feel like i'm like the first step to that if that makes sense yeah so like I feel like the other ones were me like just fine tuning things here and there. And I feel like I fine tuned all of those things. So this is like the first one where I can go back and I can just listen to it throughout. Like I've had this album sitting with me for like over a year. And the fact that I can still play it for myself, I'm like, cool. I'm like on the way to something. Yeah. And also like um, with, I'm trying to do some like magazine stuff and I'm trying to incorporate different people. I got like a homie that takes, photos and he's gonna help me take photos with that so yeah i'm definitely trying to like bring people in here and there and like do that dope well i respect yeah. your grind or respect your hustle out of as thank someone that makes a lot of too. <laughs> thank you thank you as someone that like creates a lot of his own content and does a lot of stuff i definitely do understand the idea and the sentiments of like wanting control and like doing stuff yourself and having like your own mm -hmm. like place to just do you uh but i yeah i, I don't know I definitely respect that and like your dedication to that because I I don't I don't think I've seen anyone in like my time be as dedicated to it as I have you as I've seen you like you've oh, been you, putting out like consistent content for like five or six years within the set style that you established so long ago you you decided you're gonna do this in this style and you completely mm -hmm. just continued with it didn't ask for anyone's help just did it on your own you've been setting up pop up shops and. Do, putting on shows like like you have posters for like advertising for people to come to your shows that you set up like four years ago and stuff and it's like yeah you're still doing that and 
or respect the grind of you trying to do that all yourself. But uh, that has been the show. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, that's been our five W's. Uh, it has been a great time talking to Joe Jazz. No spaces is a very important distinction. J-O-E-J-A-S, no spaces. Rapper, human cartoon, digital artist, skate bro, merch master. If you want to know anything more about this guy, I'll have links in the description to his Instagram, to his Spotify, where you can find all his shit. He's doing a lot of stuff. Uh, big things hopefully happen for this guy in the future because he definitely deserves them. And... Uh, Thanks. Joe, do you have anything else you want to say? Anything you want to leave these people with uh, that have watched through this entire thing? I'm looking pretty in this tiara. <laughs> I cannot lie. You do look good in the tiara. What do you think? Would you, you look pretty in this tiara? You look pretty in that tiara, man. You look pretty. <laughs> Thank you, man. Shit was fun as fuck. It was fun as fuck. Your room is fire. Don't let these people sleep on your room. No, my room is pretty fucking dope. I'm proud of this shit. All you guys look at all that shit. Colorful as fuck. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Reese Setter. I am your host. This has been Joe Jazz. Uh, we will see you next time. Peace. See y'all later. Brush your teeth.